shower <laughs> we're just about to head out i just wanted to give you guys a nice little spot of the sunrise but we are going on another adventure this morning uh when i'm excited and nervous we're all at the same time we are going snorkeling at john penny camp state national park yeah so whew, hopefully no barricades <laughs> today. Rough waves. That's our boat. There's Kelly.
Hey friends, welcome back. We have had an extraordinary drive through all the keys and we now have officially made it as far as we can go, almost, to Key West. We've checked into our hotel. We are staying at the Double Tree Key West. Yes, we got our cookies upon check-in. Um, we also got some free bottled water, which was nice. Apparently, bottled water is free here. Good to know. Um, so yeah, let's do a quick room tour and then we see what other kind of trouble we can get into in Key West. So upon walking in, you can see you can go straight or you can turn and we have the bathroom. We've got a closet here. Oh, good. There's a safe. The last hotel did not have a safe. Safe, a little makeup room. We're getting ready in the morning. Hi. <laughs> and in here we've got the commode. Ooh. And the shower. Shower looks nice. Not a rainfall, but it's okay. Ow. They do provide some toiletries. I saw some soap in there. Oh yeah, here we go. You got some toiletries over here little flower poof and then as you come into the room if you have an adjoining room that would be here we do not and we've got the princess sitting in his throne <laughs> and our bed so we got a nice full body mirror here uh, USB plugs on either side of the bed, which is really nice. And what else is cool about these lights? Uh, you can dim them. Mood lighting. No mood here. <laughs> Over here, we've got the television, some beverages, mini fridge, very important. And oh my gosh, yes, there's a coffee maker. The other hotel had a coffee maker, but it was like old school and I don't, know, how to work those. I don't know how to work those. I'm more of a Keurig girl. <laughs> um, Gary's got his little comfy chair here and then we've got our little patio with our view. Check it out guys. Nice chairs to sit in and then there's the pool. So this is basically like an L shape. We're in one part. I'm sorry, I should say U-shaped. We're at the top of the U. It goes around, bottom of the U, other side of the U. And there's the lobby, and I think there's a restaurant. And what the heck? Garrett! <laughs> Let me in! So yeah, thanks, you little bozo. Will you keep me out there all, all weekend? Yeah, let you shrivel up. Whatever. <laughs> so this is our room, and uh, to say, <laughs> we're excited to be in Key West. Woo! <laughs> Okay, friends, so we made it to our first Key West dinner here at Hurricane Hall, which is this cute, teeny tiny little place. Um, it is right before the final bridge into Key West, right off of Overseas Highway. It has got some great outdoor seating. Um, it was beautiful. I got myself a Key West Sunrise, which was very tasty. And as an appetizer, I got some real conch fritters. And these are the conch fritters that I'm used to. Um, and they were served with a Anko chili and key lime aioli. Both of them were delicious. The boats that you see here are actually bringing fresh catch in for the day. So you cannot get fish any fresher than this restaurant. And you can see here, Garrett got some buffalo wings. I got sweet potato fries and a shrimp po' boy. It was spectacular. This is truly Key West food. So after the long, exhausting day we had, we were so tired we didn't even get to record an outro. But just to let you all know, the food at Hurricane Holt was very delicious. Garrett very much enjoyed his uh, buffalo wings, which were huge, and my shrimp po', po boy was also um, 
it was actually, it was so big, I basically just took a couple bites of the bread and then mostly just ate the shrimp. Um, it was very good. Unfortunately, our service, not so much. I had a re-intention on also ordering a slice of key lime pie, but the server, after neglecting us for quite some time, just brought over the check and never even asked us if we wanted dessert. So, feeling bad, Garrett decided he was going to bring me over towards Duval Street, and we stopped over at Kermit's Key Lime Pie. So, yeah, he just dropped me off at the corner, and I ran in real quick. Unfortunately, Kermit, who is famous for making these wonderful key lime pies, was not in the store, but I was able to buy my slice of key lime pie, and... It was the cherry on top of a wonderful Key West uh, adventure for the day. So after this, we basically went back to the hotel and crashed because we were exhausted and tomorrow held even more adventure. So yeah, if you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for your support. Um, I hope you've been enjoying our Key West adventures. We have one more video coming out, part four. I'll probably wrap up the rest of our trip. And yeah, and then we'll be on to other adventures. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, give us a comment, say hi. Uh, we love that kind of stuff, of course. So, all right, until next time. Bye, guys.